you are currently in a place where you are seeing yourself having major breakthroughs in your dream, having major financial breakthroughs, big, big things in your dream. And you are wondering, how do I bring this blessing into reality? How do I establish this thing in my life? Wonder no more. In this particular video, I'll be sharing with you three steps to bringing your dreams into reality. But if you're not subscribed, do it to subscribe, to like, to share, and comment on this particular video so that other persons can see this video and be blessed just like you be blessed. Now, what are these three steps to bringing your dream into reality? Okay, now you must first of all understand something. Some dreams are revelations coming directly from God. Others can be a reflection of what is happening during your day. But I'm specifically talking about those dreams that are revelations given by God to reveal his agenda to his own children. Remember in the Bible, on different occasions, God has revealed interpretation of dreams, dreams about people's destinies, to different category of persons. Take Joseph for instance. God revealed his destiny, his agenda towards his life to him through dreams. So yes, God can reveal things to dream. Now, how do you bring into reality these revelations that God has revealed? When God has revealed some certain things, how do you bring them into reality? Number one step to bringing them into reality is what? Decree this dream into reality. So of you, when you just wake up, from a very good dream or even from any kind of dream at all you just shake it off and you move on no when you wake up from a dream that is a revelation that god has placed an important information into your life you decree it into reality remember the bible says in the book of job chapter 22 verse 8 and you shall decree a thing and it shall what come to establishment so when you dream and this particular dream is a reality. This particular dream is a life you envision. This particular dream is a breakthrough that God is trying to show you. You decree it into existence. You don't just wake up and you shake it off. No, you decree it what? into what existence. When Joseph had a dream, he had a dream that he saw different stars bowing to him. He first of all understood that these stars were bowing to him. Before he told this dream to his parents, if he did not understand, that the stars we are bowing to him. It would have been difficult for him to have told that dream to his parents. But he understood that they were making obeisance. They were bowing to him. That was why when he told his parents, his parents knew the, the, the understanding where he was coming from. And they were like, so you mean that me and your other siblings will bow to you? So you must first of all decree that particular dream into existence. If you want the reality to work in your life. I remember a certain time when I had a specific dream as regards to a specific kind of breakthrough that God showed me through the dream. And when I woke up, I decreed it into existence. And after decreeing it into existence, I called my father and the Lord and, I, and he also decreed it into existence to my life. And what happened? That particular dream came into reality came into the manifestation because God had seen that this particular boy or this particular man understand what it takes to bring dreams into reality. So you must first of all decree it into existence. That is the first step. And you shall decree it and it shall come to pass. Decree it. Say to that dream, this is beyond the dream. It is a revelation. And I am decreeing that this finance is open. I am decreeing that these doors are open. I am decreeing that a job I've gotten it. And that is how it is. You will get it. Now the second step is believe in the existence of this reality. When you have decreed a thing and you know it will come to pass, you have to believe in the existence of what you've decreed. You have to come to that understanding. Remember the Bible says that faith was, is the substance of things hoped for, evidence of things not seen in the book of Hebrew. So yes, when you believe in the existence of this reality, it is just an indication that you are betting faith to click to this reality and bet the result. So you have to believe in the existence of the reality. Yes, you have, you, you, you have decreed to reality. But it might have not been looking like it yet. But you believe in the existence. When Joseph was sold into slavery, he was there in Potiphar's house. Even when temptation came. At some point, he was thrown into prison. Yet, he realized that God was taking him somewhere. God has already told him that I am making you the head through his dream. So even if his present situation was that of slavery, he knew that the, that, that, that the future was that of a breakthrough and a leader. So he was what? Believing in the reality of the future. Believing in the reality that God has given to him through his dreams. You have to come. You have to embody that reality. Embody it. Believe it. Be like it. Act it. When you have decreed it, believe it and it begins to manifest. If you fail to believe in the reality that God has shown you, you gradually begin to fail in coming into the manifestation of that particular dream. So it is not enough to just decree it into existence. 
you have to believe in its reality. You have to believe that this thing I'm decreeing has worked. You have to believe that this particular dream has come to pass. The reason why most of you are not working in the manifestation of these dreams, revelations that God has revealed to you, is because most of you have failed, have failed to what believe in the reality. Even if you have decreed, like, ah, it cannot work. You are looking at your present situation and you are allowing your present situation to detect your, your, your understanding of the reality God is trying to bring towards you. Remember the Bible says that he uses the foolish things of this world to confine the wise. That is to tell you that sometimes your understanding might fail you in what God is trying to do. That is to, um, to, to tell you that sometimes your physical understanding might not even come in terms with what God is trying to manifest. When God revealed to Joseph his own parents bowing down before him, I tell you the truth, it does not look like it. But what happened? He believed in the reality. And that, of course, bettered the present situation. Third thing is to seek wise counsel and await the manifestation of this dream. Seek wise counsel, then await the manifestation of this dream. Now, most of you do not seek counsel after your dreams. And believe me when I say that that is a major problem. When you have gotten some specific revelations that God has given to you, and this is a dream that you know will bet reality, there are persons with spiritual understanding that you should seek wise counsels. You should ask questions. This is what I'm seeing. This is, what I, this is what I think it is. What do you think is the right thing? Remember in the Bible, when the slaves had dreams in the same prison with Joseph, what happened? They sought wise counsel and Joseph interpreted these dreams. Now, when you seek counsel from a person that is graced, the prayer of that particular person will fast track the importance or will fast track the manifestation of this particular dream to come into reality. Yes, because the moment the dream is interpreted by the person who is graced, what happens? That interpretation bets the reality. So you must learn to seek wise counsel. I repeat, wise counsel. From persons who you know are graced, you must learn to seek white counsel because this fast tracks the manifestation of these particular realities. And then after you have sought wise counsel, you begin to await the manifestation of this dream. This is where most of us fail. This is where most of us lose it. When you are not awaiting the manifestation of this particular dream that God has revealed to you, you end up not getting the manifestation when god revealed to Pharaoh what he was about to do in the land what happened and god by the virtue of grace revealed the, the interpretation of this dream to joseph joseph began to build storehouses for the for the visions yes because this was him patiently waiting for the manifestation of what god wanted to do god promised them seven years of bountiful harvest and seven years of famine and he began to build storehouse and that storehouse necessitated quickened the manifestation of that dream what happened seven years of bountiful harvest came he began to store food in preparation for the seven years of famine now when god has revealed to you that a major breakthrough is coming your way you begin to prepare yourself like a person that is ready to carry this particular breakthrough that god wants to do Remember in the Bible, when the prophet told the woman, borrow the vessel, not a few, borrow. She had nothing, but the prophet told her, go out there, borrow more, for your oil will not run dry. If she had no vessel, how would she have filled the oils? You have to learn to carry yourself in the manifestation of this reality that God is trying to bet through you, or God is trying to burn. So you have to carry yourself in this manifestation, this particular reality. You have to carry yourself. So when God has told you, this is what I am going to do in your life, you have to learn to carry yourself in line with that thing God has told you. By yourself, position yourself in the agenda of God. When you fail to carry yourself or position yourself in the agenda that God has revealed, you are already planning not to execute the agenda. So when you have gotten these dreams, keep working. Keep doing that thing that brought about the revelation. Keep hovering around the manifestation and it will eventually show forth. The moment a person is seen around the realm of finance for a long time, the spirit of finance has no choice than to come to bring the wealth. So you have to come to that understanding that the manifestation is born in your ability to embrace the reality. 
you are ready to walk towards awaiting this manifestation. Which means you will start living your life like a person that is that, that is already in the existence of this reality. You have to start living your life in according to what God plans for you. And when you do so, you realize that the things God has revealed to you becomes faster. It comes closer. And all of a sudden, you're already seeing yourself in the reality. This is my testimony. Yes, I remember a certain time when God revealed something to me as regards to this channel that God is using to bless life and bless your life. Yes, when God showed me revelation, I decreed it into existence. I called my father and the Lord. He decreed it into existence. And today, God has brought it to reality. You and I are here because God brought this revelation to reality. And I believe God will bring your own revelations to the reality. Thank you so much for watching this very amazing video. If you have not subscribed, please do it to subscribe, like, share. I want to be the video bless your life. And come back next week for more amazing video I post that will bless your life.